AITA for letting my daughter and her husband move in with me so they won't be homeless. I am not OOP. OOP is you, fair mom 7695. Original post. HTTPS www.reddit.com slash r slash amethyushole slash comments slash ten nine ho slash ita for letting my daughter and their husband move slash utm source equals share and utm medium equals ios app and utm name equals ios smf posted on r am i the asshole on january 21st 2023 AITA for letting my daughter and her husband move in with me so they won't be homeless? This situation is complicated and I'm at my wit's end. I have two daughters who are civil to each other but don't get along with each other. My eldest is married to Steve while my youngest is engaged to Adam. Steve and Adam are so different they disliked each other the first time they met. Steve works part-time because he treasures family time with my daughter. They spend their time traveling and exploring different parts of the states. He spends freely because he often say he can't take his money with him when he dies. Adam is an executive and for his side business, he owns several dozen properties. He works about 80 hours a week at both jobs because his philosophy is that he wants to make as much money as possible while he's young so that he can retire early. Steve thinks Adam is a corporate shill and basically blames him for everything that's wrong with society. Steve said that Adam is actively keeping people from buying homes and making them dependent on him. Adam thinks Steve is a slacker and have told Steve people like him who does the bare minimum but expects handouts are what's wrong with society. Neither of them are bad and they treat my daughters well. I retired last year due to my health so Adam built a house for me so that I can live comfortably. I was able to customize everything in the house to fit my taste. Adam owns the house pays for all of the utilities, and charges me $1 a month for rent. Part of our deal is that no one else can live in the house but me. He was very clear about this. Steve recently lost his job so he and my eldest are living off of her single income. As you can imagine, they are struggling. My eldest recently called me crying because their savings are almost gone and they can't make next month's rent. She asked if she and Steve could move in with me until he finds another job. I live on a fixed income so I don't have money to set them up in another apartment. She's my daughter and I couldn't let her be homeless so I let Steve and her move in. I gave them strict rules and a time limit on when they had to move out. I didn't think my youngest and Adam would find out because they live in another state but somehow she found out. She called and screamed at me last night for betraying Adam's trust but I argued that I'm a mother to two daughters and I can't let one be homeless. I told her about the rules and time limit and begged her not to tell Adam. She hung up on me so I don't know what's going to happen. I know I went back on an agreement but I had a good reason. Verdict. YTA. Update within post. I couldn't add many details in my original post because I was afraid of going over the character. Limits. Adam pays the taxes and utilities on this house but because it's the only house he has in this state. He keeps its financials separate from the rest of his properties. Also, he doesn't really have anything to do with the house. Instead, he gave it over to my youngest to take care of so she handles all of the bills and maintenance and pays them out of an account he set up. She noticed the increased utility cost which is when she called. We just spoke again and I laid my soul bare to her. I knew I was going back on our agreement but it was to keep her sister from being homeless. We had a lengthy conversation and in the end, she agreed not to tell Adam. She'll cover the increased utility cost out of her own pocket so he won't notice it. In exchange. Her sister and Steve will have three months then will have to move out. I originally told them they had six months. I'm lucky to have such a compassionate daughter. Thank you for taking the time to read my post some of the comments were very hurtful but some were helpful. You made me realize I should have called my youngest at the start and asked. That would have saved a lot of tears. Reminder, I am not oop. Oh yikes. This is gonna get worse before it gets better. How to destroy your daughter's marriage. 
a guide. I have a feeling Adam knew this would happen eventually. But mom, you said six months. You are right, sweetie. I am sure your sister is fine with paying for three more months. But could you at least ask your husband to go easy on Adam in the future? No. Fair. This will end terribly. The obvious solution is that Steve swallows his pride and asks Adam for help. Instead this family decided to go down a route that can nuke the marriage of Adam and the daughter. And make the whole family homeless. Unbelievable. Oop is in awe for manipulating her daughter into keeping this secret from her husband. No way in hell is she kicking the daughter and husband out at the three-month mark. This is not going to end well. Asking someone to lie to their husband after doing you the world's biggest favor. That won't end badly at all. Funny how Steve is fine living off of Adam's investment. Spending freely doesn't have to mean zero in savings there's a nice middle ground there to have. Spending freely, sound a lot like I can't budget and save and I'd rather just not plan for any emergencies. When they come or I need to retire I'll just ask everyone I know to help me. I hope they saved for my problems. I remember reading this and feeling so infuriated. I'm upset there wasn't a good update. I bet $100 Monopoly monies that in three months elder daughter and Steve play squatters rights when ultimately Adam finds out and convinces younger daughter to evict them all. Technically younger daughter is in control of the property so I am not sure how that all works. For all we know Adam pays for everything but the property is in younger daughter's name. Also was the rules stated written in a signed contract or just a verbal handshake deal. If it's handshake deal then Adam is really up a creek without a paddle. We had a lengthy conversation and in the end, she agreed not to tell Adam. Sounds like a guarantee we'll get another dramatic update from this one. I'm hoping daughter lied to mom and that Adam was in fact told loudly crying. Can't wait to hear the update in three months when they refuse to vacate. Bro this is not a good update. Haha <laughs> hope it ends well though. Oh that doesn't bode well for one marriage engagement and several relationships at the same time. Lie to daughter by omission because other daughter made bad choices. Lie to your husband fiancé by omission for mom because guilt over sister's bad choices. Lie about time frame to daughter who's already lying to husband fiancé. Golden child wins everything in this and everyone else loses. If mom loses her place to live I doubt golden child daughter will do anything to help. The loss of the place will be to prevent. If it's even preventable. An implosion of a marriage and engagement. Adam will likely walk away from everything over this if, when he finds out. Edit. My bad thought they were married already misread it. They can drag their feet and get like six months in their old place. Assuming it's the us. Really jumping the gun here. You made me realize I should have called my youngest daughter at the start and asked. I don't think that's the realization but okay. Sometimes. Being a compassionate person around everyone isn't the best life choice. People see that and take advantage of it. Speaking from first-hand experience. So. I can only hope Adam and her work thing out when he discovers the truth. Because it will come out eventually. The strings attached to the house raise my eyebrows slightly but I suspect daughter told Adam to put those in place in order to prevent exactly this situation. Steve works part-time because he treasures family time with my daughter. They spend their time traveling and exploring different parts of the states. He spends freely because he often say he can't take his money with him when he dies. Steve recently lost his job so he and my eldest are living off of her single income. As you can imagine, 
They are struggling. Steve. Oh no. It's the consequences of my actions. Funny how now they're looking to the resources of the corporate shill of the family to sustain them now that their poor planning and living for the moment has come back to bite them. Hiding it from Adam will surely end well for everyone involved. She is making her daughter keep secrets from her husband so her family can take an advantage of him. Wow, that is not going to end well for all of them. Yeah, it's not gonna be three months. It will take much longer for them to move out. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Cast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.